besides your your work in the cancer field i mean I, the other thing kind of issues that i remember lots of activity on is for instance um the the environmental issues of the solar cooker i remember i remember woodford square and you demonstrating how to cook using the the, the solar box solar, tell me about there are that two parts of the solar story that that we need to hear we went to the SIDS conference in Barbados in 1994. Mm -hmm. And so, no, no, solar cooking, cooking came before that. I was involved, as you know, with the tea and tech rate hearings, yes. representing cons tea and tech consumers, mm -hmm. and as well telephone users. We had done telephone users before and, mm -hmm. and been successful with Telco. Government mm -hmm. acquired the telephone company as a result of that work. And then came the tea and tech application. Mm -hmm. And Colin Laird, was taking part in this hearings in some way. And one day he sent me a note to say, Hazel, you know, this is something you might be interested in. And that is how the use of alternated energy from the sun as a, in addition to whatever we're doing with mm -hmm. regard to price of electricity, what TNTEC was paying for the gas, how were they fixing the rates, whether the rate structure was fair and all of that. Mm -hmm. He sent me this thing. So I said, okay, I read all the stuff and proceeded to make my first solar cooking because the, the, the information he sent me was how you could make and use a solar cooker. Yes. So I proceeded <laughs> to make a solar cooker. And I still have pictures of my original solar cooker. Mm -hmm. We were in Goodwill Industries yes, at the time. Yes. And when it was done one morning, I asked the lady who helped us there to, to need some a sweet dough for me, mm -hmm. put it in a pot, put it in the cooker, mm -hmm. and wait to see what happened. <laughs> Because at this time, I do, does it work? Yes, does it? <laughs> Didn't have the... At 11 o'clock in the morning, we put it in about 9.30, 11.30, you could smell something coming out of the cooker. Mm -hmm. All right. I said to them, bring me a knife. Mm -hmm. We're going to open the cooker. Yes. Stick it in. <laughs> yes, and see. It come, in, it come out. <laughs> wow, this thing works. Yes. It mm -hmm. works. Of course, we did a lot of other work, and we cook rice and and chicken and beef mm -hmm. and everything else, and improve on the technique of making the mm -hmm. cooker. Reading, there's a whole lot of thing on the internet. Mm -hmm. um, I've been myself to several of international co um, solar cooking conferences. As a mm -hmm. result, mm -hmm. I went to a university in India where all of the cooking in the university is done by solar, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. um, so and I've been in touch with the people in South Africa with my South mm -hmm. Africa yes, story. my South Africa story, I must tell you. I go to South Africa and they, they make me a gift of a South Africa model of the solar cooker. So I'm coming out with my two suitcases and the cooker. Mm -hmm. And I go to the the, um, the counter. The guy says, Well, you only allowed two pieces. Um well, let me see your passport. So I give him my Trinidad and Tobago passport and he takes it and he goes into the back and he comes back in and he says, My boss wants to see you. So I, what boss want to see me? What trouble am I in now? <laughs> the, the chief um, airline person okay. sits down to me and says, tell me, tell me about Brian Lara. <laughs> <laughs> wow! <laughs> so my cooker is, is, is on the plane. <laughs> on the plane. <laughs> <laughs> my oh, cooker is on the plane. And we've continued to train and support people because for me, what I do with solo cooking is not teach people to cook. Mm -hmm. I get a space inside of people's heads mm -hmm. that it is possible for us to use the sun that God gave us here. Yes. And the most successful work that I've done have been with children mm -hmm. because their, their minds are more open to the possibility That's that there's easy. another way yeah. to cook. Of course with women as well. Yes. And we've continued to do that work with the objective of training people in communities to make cookers mm -hmm. for sale. Yes. So we will be creating a business because we, f we figured we could, and we were working with MIC with some of the, the specs of mm -hmm. the, the creation of a of a cooker from recycled material mm -hmm. that we could produce in Trinidad and Tobago for less than a hundred dollars and sell as a community economic activity. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So yes. you see it coming yes. from a rate here in Rara yes. the world yes. Yes. Back, back home, home. to how you could mm -hmm. apply it mm -hmm. to, to to real situations, of course, because it says the other thing about the, the, um, the solar cooking, as I said about the children, every time I have gone to a bunch of children in Trinidad and Tobago, especially the ones who they say not bright, mm -hmm. and I present the idea of the solar cooking for me, they could tell me how to make a better one. Wow. 
they didn't do physics and mm -hmm. all of these stories here. But, yeah. but their, their brain works yes. if it is engaged mm -hmm. in a certain mm -hmm. way. Mm -hmm. Yes.